Today, I'm going to make one of the most popular milk at home hearty dishes in Peru. It's called estofado de pollo and it's a tomato based chicken stew with Peruvian seasoning, of course. What I love the most about this dish, besides the flavor, is how easy it's to make. You're gonna see, I, I think anybody Peruvian, no, non Peruvian, can make this easily. So, let's go! The first thing I always like to do is season the meat. A teaspoon of black pepper. Or to taste, my taste is adding a lot, so don't mind me covering the whole chicken. A tablespoon of cumin. Or to taste, we're going to add a little bit of salt, but not too much because this is adjusted at the end. Then, we're going to coat our chicken nicely with them. I usually do it with one hand to keep the other one clean to be able to touch other things without contaminating them. Then, of course, we have to wash our hands. After seasoning the meat, I always like to leave everything chopped, so it's easier to just throw it in the preparation. We're going to grab a medium carrot, but if you would like to add more or less, just adjust it. We're going to peel it, get rid of the top, the bottom, and then we're gonna slice it the way I'm doing it right now. Then we're going to grab two medium potatoes. This time I grabbed three because they were too small, so I needed to compensate. The ideal ratio of potatoes to chicken, according to my standards, is about 50-50. But you can also adjust that to your taste. We're going to peel them and then we're going to chop them in cubes. We're going to grab three cloves of garlic. As a garlic lover, I always like to add a lot, so I always choose big sized ones. And if they are small, I just add an extra clove or two. We're going to peel them and then chop them, kind of small like I'm doing right now. Next and last of the chopping part, we're going to grab an onion. The reason why I always do this one last is because every single time I chop onions, I cry. But no, that's not going to stop me from doing it, because a good foodie knows when to make sacrifices for the flavor of your food. <laughs> In a medium to large pot and on medium high temperature, we're going to heat up the oil. We're going to seal the chicken. We fry every side until the skin seems golden brown for about three minutes each side. And remember, this is not cooking the chicken. We're just trying to release the flavor from the skin. After the chicken is sealed, we're going to put it aside. And in the same oil where we sealed the chicken, we're going to add the onions that we just chopped. We stir them a little bit and then let them saute until they are soft for about seven minutes. I personally like the onions very cooked, almost caramelized. So sometimes I leave them there for longer. Then we're going to add the garlic and we're going to let it saute for another 3 minutes. We add 3 bay leaves and mix them in. We're going to add 3 quarters of a cup of white wine. If you don't happen to have white wine, you could replace it with vinegar. And, this is very important, we need to let it evaporate because the stew is going to taste like alcohol otherwise. It's not going to taste good. We need to let it reduce almost to nothing. When the wine has reduced, we're going to add two tablespoons of tomato paste. Then we're going to add panka pepper. I got it from the supermarket, but I'm aware not all of them have it. So maybe if you try a Latin market, they most likely will have it there. Add two tablespoons of panka pepper. And if you noticed, I'm being very generous with my spoons. We're going to add the chicken back. We add the potatoes. We add the carrot. We add half a cup of peas. 
You can use either frozen or canned. Then, we're going to pour water, making sure it's covering everything. But not by much, just about. There are three cups in this pot. Then, we're going to add a tablespoon of chicken stock powder. You could potentially replace this with salt, but I think it tastes better when you use the powder. We're going to let it reach boiling point, and when that happens, we can set the temperature to low. Now we're going to let it stew. It is ready when the potatoes are fully cooked, but in order to obtain those potatoes that melt in your mouth, you have to let it cook on low heat for a bit longer, which is what I did now. So for the potatoes to be ready, it usually takes between 35 to 45 minutes, but this time I let it simmer for about an hour and a half. And there you go. Our chicken stew is ready to be eaten. I served it with Peruvian garlic rice. You can find the link on how to make it on the video comments right after the ingredients list. Now let's try it. Happy tummy, happy heart, my favorite saying. See you next time and thanks for watching.